If you're buying a new home, the most important thing you can do before you go shopping is to make sure that you're buying a house within your budget so you don't end up with a mortgage payment that kicks your butt. Hey, it's Ryan Speltz, your kick butt mortgage guy. And in this video, I'm going to help you determine your budget that's within reason. As a buyer, I'm sure you have a ton of questions about not even the loan process, but how to determine where you're going to buy. Should I be near work? Where are the schools? What's the best area for my budget? Ultimately, the answer lies in what you can truly afford. You don't want to fall in love with the home and then not be able to make the mortgage payment. And this is why it's extremely important to get pre-approved before you go out shopping with an agent and not just be pre-qualified. And yes, there is a difference between being pre-approved and being pre-qualified for a home. Basically, anyone with a heartbeat can be pre-qualified for a home. It means absolutely nothing. However, when you get pre-approved, you've already gone through four or five steps and you're a lot more qualified in the eyes of that seller, which in this hot market means a lot. So getting pre-qualified basically means you're just giving verbal information to someone and they're saying, yep, go ahead and buy the home. Getting pre-approved means you've submitted all the pertinent loan information, all the loan documents, they've verified those loan documents for you, and they've given you a pre-approval letter. Second, you do not really know your budget until you're fully pre-approved. Those online calculators can only give you so much information because there's a ton of other costs that may come into play in your monthly mortgage payment. It's not just the mortgage that comes into play. You're going to have taxes, homeowners insurance, possible homeowners association, and private mortgage insurance all to consider in your monthly dues. And when people get their butt kicked is when they're not paying attention to those other fees that I just spoke of. If someone's already pre-approved you for an exact price point, that's not really an appropriate pre-approval. The reason for this is because those other fees that I spoke of, the taxes, the HOA, the insurance, those can all vary from property to property. You might be looking at one house that's $250,000 on one side of the street that has $2,000 in taxes, and you go across the street to the other $250,000 house, and they have $4,000 in taxes. One house you qualify for, one house you don't. Make sure your lender knows the difference between those two houses. So the first step in the process is definitely to get pre-approved, not pre-qualified, so that we can determine your true budget and what range of house prices you should be shopping in so that you can pick a monthly payment and be able to stick to that monthly payment. This allows your realtor to set some criteria for you in their searches and get you looking at appropriate houses for yourself and for your budget. It's never too early to get your financing in line. Buying a house is exciting, but it's first and foremost an investment. Part of that investment is getting a kick butt mortgage and terms to maximize your return. Part of getting a kick butt mortgage is educating yourself on how the loan process works. That's why I wrote my kick butt mortgage guide A to Z book. Make sure you click the link in and around this video so that you can get your free copy today. This book will give you the A to Z of obtaining a mortgage and it'll help you pick which mortgage is right for you. Regardless of what kind of property you're purchasing, knowing your numbers is the most important part. If you have any additional questions for me, feel free to reach out. Don't forget to download the book. My name is Ryan Speltz and you have a kick butt day.